So, you think being a shark is cool? Let me set the record straight. I'm the Greenland shark, oldest vertebrate on Earth, the ancient king of the cold. And it absolutely sucks to be me. I mean, sure, I've been around for centuries, literally. Scientists believe I can live over 500 years. That's not a blessing, it's a long, slow, frozen sentence. Every day is cold, I live beneath the ice, where it's dark, crushing and quiet. Imagine swimming through Arctic blackness for centuries, never seeing the sun, never feeling warmth, never even taking a nap, because sharks don't sleep like you do. You want to know what I eat? Rot. Carrion. Seals that died under the ice. I'm not a hunter, I'm a scavenger. And that smell, it's permanent. My flesh is literally toxic to humans, laced with trimethylamine oxide, a neurotoxin that'll make you hallucinate. Even the Inuit had to bury my meat underground for months to detoxify it. I'm poisonous, even when I'm dead. I'm slow, slower than any other shark. My top speed, about 0 0.76 miles per hour. A sea cucumber could beat me in a race. Oh, and guess what? Over the centuries, parasites latch onto my eyeballs and feed, making me blind. I drift through the deep like a ghost, sightless, frozen, forgotten. They say I'm a living fossil, some call me a legend. But I've seen generations of life pass me by. I've lived through world wars, the Industrial Revolution and probably your great-great-grandma, but I've never seen the surface, never seen a coral reef, never felt speed, never known companionship. Think being immortal is a gift. Try watching every ecosystem collapse around you while you keep drifting. Here's what hurts the most. No one studies us until we're dead. They pull us from the depths, slice us open and go, Wow, look how old it is. Gee, thanks. Let me tell you more about this cursed crown of mine. You know how scientists figured out our age? They tested the proteins in our eyeball lenses, proteins formed when we were born and untouched since. Turns out one of us lived to 512 years. Imagine remembering when the Mona Lisa was still news. We grow just one centimetre per year. That means when I was a kid, you were still swinging from trees. OK, maybe not you, but something hairier. We reproduce late, very late. Most Greenland sharks don't reach sexual maturity until they're over 150 years old. Imagine waiting a century just to date in pitch darkness, uh, while blind and reeking of ammonia. Scientists say we might give birth to hundreds of pups, but no one's ever seen it happen. We're ghost parents. There are no shark schools, no social pods, no majestic migrations, just endless cold, endless dark, endless waiting, but maybe that's what makes us wise. Maybe solitude shapes something deeper. I've brushed past sunken ships. I've watched lightless creatures dance in bioluminescent ballets. I've seen things no human will ever know. You chase speed, glory and warmth. I've had stillness, silence and centuries. If I could trade places with you just for a day, would I? Honestly, I don't know. But I do know this. There's beauty in being forgotten. There's power in survival. There's honour in simply existing. If you've ever felt overlooked, if you've ever felt slow, forgotten or misunderstood, then maybe, just maybe, you know what it's like to be me? I'm not here to scare you. I'm here to remind you, even the slowest creature has a story, even the darkest depths hold wisdom. So the next time someone asks, what's the oldest creature alive? Tell them about me, the lonely king beneath the Arctic ice, the Greenland shark, still with me. Good, let me share a few more truths from the deep. I've learned things no textbook teaches, not just about survival, but about silence. Stillness, patience. See, when you've had five centuries to reflect, you start to realize the loudest lives are not always the most meaningful. And speed doesn't equal purpose. You humans say, live fast, die young. But I've lived slow and I'm still here. You build empires in decades. I drift through them in centuries. I've passed beneath your battleships, your submarines, your oil rigs. And when your noise dies down, I'm still here. You panic over change. I watch the ice melt slower each year. And I wonder, do you even see it happening? I felt the Arctic groan, not like thunder, but like heartbreak. And still, I drift. One question haunts me more than any other. Why am I still here? Maybe to warn you, maybe to witness. 
or maybe just to be the memory of a world you're forgetting. So if you see a video about me and say, cool, a 500-year-old shark, don't just be amazed, be aware. There's more to life than light, there's more to time than youth, and there's more to truth than surface knowledge. If you listened this far, thank you. Because creatures like me don't go viral, we vanish slowly, silently. If you enjoyed my story, consider clicking the like button, sharing it with someone curious like you. And if you haven't joined the pack yet, subscribe to Critter Safari. Who knows, you may see me again.